Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Gospel Fasting. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, donate. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, donate. That's how you support this ministry, which is a youth organization. Higher Things is a youth organization, which is all about passing the faith to the next generation. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, go to... Uh, Support.higherthings.org and give a tax-deductible gift. Your gift keeps us going. Gospel fasting. Fasting sounds like an awful, dreadful law thing. It is when it's done for law's sake. A lot of times people think of fasting as Roman Catholic. It's in the scriptures. Jesus doesn't say, if you fast, if you get around to fast, if you're Roman Catholic. He says um, very clearly, when you fast. And so we should think about Lenten fasting in, in a different way. We should rethink it. How can I get me out of the way so Jesus can give more? Believing is receiving. We had that in our money video. So how can I get me out of the way so there can be more Jesus Christ and him crucified for me? Also, how can I love him for my neighbor better? So what you do with the Lenten fast is you, is you, is you, various ways in which you get your body under, more, with more receiving mode. More Jesus. The the idea that you're doing this because of the suffering of Jesus, that you're doing this because you want to somehow um, mimic the suffering and death of Jesus, it's just not going to work. You giving up your favorite candy isn't anywhere close to the suffering and death of Jesus. It's just not. It's just not. Um, it's sort of almost laughable. Only going to eat meat on Fridays? Really? That's going to help you remember the, God, the, the Good Friday? But if you instead think of it a different way, how can I get me out of the way? How can I focus my attention on the suffering and death of Jesus? How can God be more for me this Lenten season? Well, then all of a sudden there's all sorts of reasons to fast. Whatever I give up, whatever I add on, is done so in order to fix my eyes on Jesus. Whatever is going on with me, whatever God is doing for me, He's doing for the suffering and death of Jesus in order so that there would be more, all, all the things that I'm carrying would be gotten out of my hands and there would be more receiving. That's faith. More receiving of Jesus. More Christ. So what, what fasting does is it tells your body, it tells your tummy, it tells all that's you. Tummy, thoughts, feelings, you're not the boss of me. You don't rule me. Jesus Christ and him crucified does. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Tommy, you don't take a beating. And Lent isn't your self-improvement program. That'll be a video for next week. But it's enough now to sort of contemplate rethinking the Lenten fast in a gospel way or for a gospel purpose. Law for the sake of gospel, that's, that's incredibly Lutheran. That, that, that God in Christ wants you to get out of the way so that he could be more for you this season, so he could fix your eyes more on what his son did for you this Lenten season. Rethink the fast. Don't make it about you. Make it about Christ. Make it about others. How can you... Be more. How can you beat that old Adam in submission so that there could be more? And if none of this is you, and you want to spend the Lent, your Lenten season, not fasting, I'm cool with that too. But let that be your fast. Let it be in freedom. Because that's what this is really all about. Free to serve. Free to beat yourself down so that there could be more Jesus. Free to not to do anything. Not free to sin. And not free to despise the suffering and death of Jesus. 
So when you fast this Lenten season, let it be so that there would be more Jesus, more cross, more crucified, so that your Easter would be more joyful. Because this is about freedom. That means it's about Jesus for you. I'm Pastor George Barkhart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.